Oh yes, we on. Five months, 20 episodes. Nigga, we made it. What's going on, you guys? It's your girl, Tatiana Vixen. Yeah, that's her name. And if you know me, <laughs> you're nasty. Make sure that you like, comment, and share. And best believe I'm going to meet you there because your girl be in the comments. And if you like what I'm serving and you love how I give it, make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you are always notified when I upload. Die. From Mariah's rehearsed confessionals to Roly's questionable hygiene to Scarface's fan favorite to fan hated, we have finished Baddies East. Yay! <laughs> This episode, episode 20, was the season finale. I gotta say it was lackluster. Wasn't this, you know, I, I don't know. The girls spent their last two days in Jamaica before heading back to the East Coast. And it wasn't much going on besides the whole Mariah Suki Sapphire thing. And I hate that they ended on that note because they're really, what, like, what really was the beef? We're gonna talk about that and more because we have lots to discuss about this reunion. Oh yes, they dropped that trailer and I will be reviewing that. First and foremost, let's get through episode 20, One Love. Class, let's begin. This was crazy. Episode 20, it is February 2024. We started this fucking season September 2023. Dudes, it was time to wrap this shit. So we start the episode with Mariah trying to have a civil conversation with Suki and then Sapphire ends up yanking her. But then Mariah do the loop-de-loop -loop and yank her back. Where the fuck they do that at? Here we go, loop-de-loop. -loop. Sapphire, you thought you was going to eat that and kind of gagged when Mariah snatched your ass down too. And you got Sapphire sitting here straight up lying, talking about she never meant to fight Mariah. Sapphire, that's a bold-faced fucking lie because you've been trying to fight somebody since you did what you did with Suki. And you've been trying to get back in her good graces. So that was kind of corny. You figured Mariah was an easy target and the bitch kind of gagged you a little bit. You had the right one. On top of that, Mariah ended up popping on Suki, but miss, that's the real tea. This girl really is not scared. Suki talking about, you miss, bitch, but if uh, <laughs> you got me, ho, that would have been your fucking ribs. <laughs> it's then revealed, as you can see, that Mariah got, she got scratched pretty badly, but I really want, I don't believe Sapphire did that. Like, I don't even believe she did that intentionally. Are we watching the same episode? All y'all did was kind of yank on each other. I feel like going down, Maybe somebody scratched somebody or something like that, but I don't think I hate when girls fight and when the other ones marked up y'all giving yeah I did that yeah you did but it wasn't intentional so that don't count all Sapphire did was yank Mariah Mariah yanked her back and they fell in the water and Sapphire your wig came off all the way off honestly to me Mariah doesn't look scared she just looks exhausted and you know her face looks fucking crazy. Sapphire, baby, mama, let it go. Let it go. She is outside this sprinter, going on and on and on. And I'm just like, girl, where was this energy with Scarface? You keep talking about, oh, because I fuck with Scarface. You fucked with Mariah, too. So what's the difference? You talking about, y'all going based off speculation that Mariah was going to sneak Suki when Roly and Scarface actually put their hands on her. I'm confused. And no tea, no shit, I already know the fans is gonna say the same thing too. I thought it was super duper sweet that Natalie's dad was concerned. And then you got Camilla coming on a, who they? Oh. Internet, y'all know what to do, get on that. So here, this was a filler scene, I'm gonna be honest with you because you got Mariah explaining to the girls of House B how she and Suki and Sapphire got into it at the raps. And they really filming her explain the entire story. Zeus, we don't have to see this. We was there. We saw the, we saw the shit from start to finish. You don't have to, we don't have to see this. 
All in all, it ends with, of course, Mariah getting adopted by House B. And when I saw this last week, I was like, oh, they just gonna take her like that? She been running with House A? Like, they just gonna... Word. But according to Mariah and Anna, Mariah had been asking to go to House B. Gag. So they take her in and I guess she's now an honorary House B girl. Sapphire, this new wig install, eight. One thing that bitch gonna do is wear a wig. So on the way to Kingston, we're in House A Sprinter and Suki is explaining to the girls her side of what happened between her, Mariah, and Sapphire. And I'm just looking at Roly like, look at this bitch. Just marveling in drama. She loves this shit. Pathetic. I'm gonna be honest, and I've been meaning to say this since last week. Y'all know I love Suki with the good coochie, Sukiyana, the goat, wolf, see. But, no tea, no shade, Suki, something about this is a L. Something about this feels like an L. Something about this feels corny. I can't quite put my finger on it but this feels a little corny. So let me get this straight. Scarface advice for next season girls is don't be so thirsty for camera time. Scarface, that's literally what the fuck you did since you got there. I mean, the jokes write themselves. <laughs> the nerve of this bitch. So the girls show up to Kingston and they are at da -da 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 -da, the legendary Bob Marley's house. I believe it is now converted into a restaurant. I actually have had the pleasure of being at the Versace mansion from legendary designer Gianni Versace. His house too was made into a restaurant. I guess that's a thing. The girls get to experience, you know, touring Bob Marley's home. And I gotta be honest, this, okay, so because this is a Zeus production, I don't believe the beauty or the experience was captured in the way it should have been. Had this been MTV, BET, they really would have like probably made this moment a tearjerker, but unfortunately that's not what happened. In fact, I even seen that they was blurring out Bob Marley's face. I remember watching College Hill and they toured like the African American Museum. The cameras weren't even allowed in and they still was able to make me cry. This moment was just, it was, was kind of corny on Zeus's end. At one point, Scarface talking about she gonna keep it cute cause it's her birthday. No bitch, you keeping it cute cause of that foot. Fuck around and find out. <laughs> so they're kind of like outside on this balcony, ta dining table situation. Natalie's asking them to say some last parting words and I guess this is supposed to be given sentimental moment, but it's, it's not giving sentimental moment. In fact, Suki, when it was her turn, kind of ruined this, what barely was a kumbaya moment to press Mariah for like the fourth time this season. <laughs> like, like, like girl, at this point, it's beating a dead horse. She just had to like press her just, just one more time. Mariah ended up defending herself as she should. And you got Roly talking about, yeah, I'm not even about to waste my breath. Girl, how the fuck did you get in this? Yeah, shut the fuck up. Like, nobody asked you to say anything, Roly. This was Suki and Mariah. Thirsty for camera time to the bitter end. And for Suki to find issue and Mariah not wanting to toast with them and, you know, leaving, that was kind of corny. Let that girl go. Because I'm gonna be honest with y'all, everything Mariah is doing, I would do. Like, dead ass. In fact, while I'm walking out, I would've told Suki to shut the fuck up. Let's really talk about it. I found it crazy that security wasn't even letting Mariah technically leave. I don't know what that was about. Y'all could've let her sit in the Sprinter. They're literally blocking this girl. She ends up coming back, toasts with the girls. Okay. We move forward and the girls make it to club taboo in Kingston, Jamaica, and I gotta say, the club does look popping. It, I, that, it over exceeded my expectations. That bitch was jumping. This is where they decide that they're gonna have the girls give their last parting confessionals. For me, I don't know about y'all, but for me, this was kinda hard to even take serious because I'm, tr like, I'm distracted at these girls' last parting words 
because in between is, you know, ass and titties. It's make it make sense. And the episode comes to an end. It was not a fulfilling episode whatsoever, but I tell you what is fulfilling, this motherfucking reunion, bitch. Oh yes, I will be doing a full-blown reaction to the Baddies East reunion trailer. I have not seen it, but I've seen it pop up on that motherfucking slot mutant girl. So you guys make sure that you come back to see that. Also, a full-blown fashion recap of the Grammys. The Grammys happened and there is so much to talk about, but what I want to talk about is what was going on on that red carpet. So you make sure y'all look out for those two pop, ooh, popping ass videos. I'm gonna have the trailer reaction and a full blown Grammys fashion review, okay? Do like, comment, and share, and best believe I'm gonna meet you there. We gotta meet in the comments for this one, y'all. We gotta meet in the comments. And if you like what I'm serving and you love how I give it, hit that subscribe button so you are always notified when I upload. It has been a crazy season and it has been a fun ride. I think y'all this was my first YouTube and, and I would say it was a success. Thank you guys. I am here to stay, honey. Catch me for that baddies Caribbean and I'm just might be doing that STV as well because I heard that Scrap in Chaotic is gonna have a dating show. So I wanna check that out. I'm excited to see where the Fadi University is going. Make sure that y'all keep checking me out and I'm gonna see y'all in the YouTube universe, okay? Mwah. I am Fatiana Vixen and if you know me, you nasty. <laughs>